What's up? You're watching Drink This Tonight. And this week we're starting a new segment called Quest for the Best, where we take a classic cocktail and try and find the best recipe by experimenting. This week, it's the martini. So today we're looking at the martini, which is a classic that emerged in the early 20th century. Now in the late 1800s, people drank a popular cocktail called the Martinez. We've got a video about it, you can check it out. But basically it was a lot like a martini, but sweeter, and it used sweet vermouth in place of the dry vermouth. Sometime during the turn of the century, people started using dry vermouth and making their Martinez, or some variant of it, a little bit drier. Over time, people used less and less vermouth, and you have variants of the martini which are completely dry and use basically no vermouth at all. So where did the vermouth go? Well, one school of thought thinks that people's tastes just changed over time. They prefer to dry or drink. Other theories are that since the vermouth couldn't be refrigerated that well, it didn't keep, and it just didn't taste very good, so people omitted it. Whatever the reason, the martini became drier and drier over time, and the ratio that we use today is about two ounces of gin, give or take, and about a half ounce of dry vermouth, give or take. And people have all kinds of different variations, which we'll explore. Eventually, people started drinking vodka martinis, and where did that come from? I mean, a martini is traditionally made with gin and dry vermouth. Why vodka? Well, some people think that it's because it was considered exotic. You know, it was the Cold War during the 50s, and it came out of the Soviet Union. So it was really cool to drink a vodka martini. James Bond, of course, is famous for drinking a vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. That's a shitty James Bond impression. But he's the most popular drinker of a vodka martini in uh, our popular culture today. Technically, it's not really a martini, but some people like it that way. So we're gonna try it and find out if it's any good. So today we're gonna make a whole bunch of different variations on the martini. I'm gonna taste them. I'm gonna try and see if I can figure out which one is which. And we're gonna find out which one's the best. So we'll start with the classic. Two ounces of London dry gin. I'm using a beef eater, but you can use any. One half ounce of dry vermouth. And I'm using uh, Dolan dry vermouth. In with the ice, drain it into a martini glass. The traditional gar garnish is an olive skewer, and that's a classic martini. So now we're going to do six more variations, including an extra dry martini, a dirty martini, a vodka martini, a Vesper, a scutcheon martini, and a Picard Vesper. We'll see you at the taste test. Welcome back. So we've now made seven different variations on the martini. We asked Reddit what your favorite recipe was, and you delivered. So two of these recipes are from Reddit. But I'm gonna try them, and I'm gonna see if I can guess which one is which, and I'm gonna rate them. And then at the end, we'll see how well I did. I think I'm gonna start with this one all the way over here on the right, your right anyway. By the way, we poured them into shot glasses because I couldn't possibly drink this many martinis. <clears throat> okay, right off the bat, I actually kind of like that one. I'm not tasting a lot of vermouth though. Like, I almost want to say that is an extra dry. Actually, you know what? That one might be the vodka martini because I don't get too much of the gin flavor. Man, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go vodka martini on this one. Martini number two. Okay, this definitely has vermouth in it. Now I kind of want to change my last guess because I don't taste any vermouth in that one. That one definitely has vermouth. So by comparison, I feel like this one has to be an extra dry. All right, changing, can I change my answer? Can I change my answer for previous ones? Okay. All right, I'm gonna go extra dry. This one I think is just the classic because um, I'm getting a nice, well-rounded flavor profile. I think there's a, a, a solid amount of vermouth in that to balance out the harshness of the gin. Moving on, this one, now I can tell from the color of it that uh, this is no ordinary martini. This either has lemon juice or olive brine in it. 
So right off the bat, I know it's gonna be either the Dirty Martini or the Picard Vesper, which includes lemon juice. Okay, that's sour. So I know it's the Picard. By the way, thank you for submitting the recipe, Mr. Picard. I hope I said your name right. Had to tweak it slightly because I didn't have any kochi. I'm not sure if, it, if it's just contaminated from the previous glass or, or what, because there's some stuff floating around in there. So I'm thinking maybe it's the dirty martini and that's from the olive brine. Okay, that's definitely the dirty martini. It's actually not bad though. I kind of like it. The olive flavor is not overwhelming. Not overwhelming at all, in fact, I might, I might even be wrong. I almost want to say this is the Vesper. Locking it in, that's the Vesper. This one is also kind of darker, briny colored, which makes me think this is gonna be the Dirty Martini. Okay, yeah, 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 that's the def that's, that is the Dirty Martini. And I don't like it at all. Ugh, second to last. Mm, that's nice, that's nice, 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 nice. I'm gonna guess that's the scutcheon. Not the vodka. That's definitely not the vodka martini. At least I don't think. I think this is the scutcheon. There's definitely vermouth in it. It's definitely not the extra dry. That's probably the scutcheon, which means that this one has to be the vodka martini. Here we go. Hmm. I do think that is the vodka martini. It's pretty good too. I guess we're gonna find out how I did, but I have to pick my favorite first. I have to say, the scutcheon was really good. I liked the selection of the ingredients. I also liked the Vesper. The Vesper was fantastic. Assuming it was the Vesper, I don't know. Actually, this one was pretty good as well. But I think I'm going to have to take the scutcheon. That's my pick. How'd we do? You got three right. Only three right? Three out of seven? Okay, so which one was this? Which one did I like the best? The vodka martini. That's the vodka? No way. Come on. Oh man. No way. <laughs> no, come on. I'm supposed to be sophisticated. I don't drink vodka martinis. Oh man. I'm gonna flip the table. Hmm. Well, I guess I suck at this. Thanks for watching everybody. Today we tried seven different martini recipes and I found out that I actually do like vodka martinis. Hopefully you had fun. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you really liked it, please go ahead and subscribe. We've got new videos every week. And let me know down in the comments which martini recipe you like the best. And by the way, thanks to everyone on Reddit who chipped in. Couldn't do it without you. See you next time. But wait, there's more. We saved the best for last. We're gonna create the best martini right here, never before seen, in front of your eyes. We're gonna add that, we're gonna add that, we're gonna add that, we're gonna add that. It's the ultimate martini.